We are waiting. I think one minute. Okay, it's on live right now. Okay. I think we are ready. Yeah. Mohammed is saying. Okay. I think we need to wait a little bit. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, guys, we are live. And yeah, so uh, welcome everyone to another exciting Ultradix live session. I'm Lakshante and I'm your host today. So I work at Ultradix as an embedded computer vision engineer, driving the edge deployments efforts of YOLO V8 models on edge devices such as the Raspberry Pi, NVIDIA Jetson, and more. So for today's show, uh, our friends from Seed Studio will be joining with us, uh, Elaine Wu from uh, Edge AI Marketing Partnerships and Yoja Yu from Edge AI Application Engineering. So welcome, Elaine and Yoja. Hi, Lakshanda. I'm so happy to see you again. So we're glad to working with Ultradetics on this session and to share, uh, share with everyone about how to build intelligent store with new features of Ultradetics and also our hardware. Yeah, cool, cool. Uh, it's going to be exciting today. And I think I'm sure everyone will be uh, uh, waiting for what's uh, what's to come and what's what's uh, what uh, Seed Studio has to offer uh, from this uh, session. Yeah. So. Um, Great. So I'm yeah. going to share my screen. Yeah. So I'm sharing my screen. Okay, great. So in this yeah. session, well, we're going to talk about dive into uh, the building the how to use in the Edge AI, the Ultralytics to empowering the retail stores. But uh, in the retail, uh, we want to specifically to talking about build the queue management and also the heat map to manage the stores. <coughs> So in this session, uh, we will, uh, uh, our agenda will walk through uh, seed uh, JSON Orin uh, product uh, hardware platform because we will mainly using the JSON Orin to deploy uh, Yolo V8 models, and and also we will talk about our previous day work like how we uh, streamline the Yolo V8 deployment on JSON, and specifically we will dive into build the the queue management you and and uh, using the Yolo V8 and also using the heat map, the heat map feature and Yu Zhang will present a live demonstration and walk you uh, uh, and walk through the uh, the codes line by line about the queue management and also we have something uh, some very exciting the new products we want to share with you at least we <laughs> combine the computer vision and also the large language models and to uh, and to uh, do the uh, uh, the computer vision combining the LM at the edge, and also we have the Q and A in session. Great, great. Yeah, great. So let's directly jump into our session. So yeah. firstly, I, I want to uh, introduce about Seed. Although uh, I I believe uh, a lot of uh, Yolo V8 and Ultralytics friends <laughs> already know about us. So Seed Studio will positioning ourselves as an AI hardware partner. So we have been uh, in uh, working in the uh, open hardware since 2008, and we are providing our uh, hardware modules and also devices. We have been uh, since 2008. We have been empowering uh, half of a million direct users to direct to create the real world digital solutions so we offer our hardware in categories mm -hmm. of the sensors and networking uh, uh, now networking gateways and also the edge computing devices to push the intelligence into the new frontiers so mm -hmm. on the bottom uh, you can see so we offer the hardware modules and also the devices. The hardware modules, along with our step-by-step -step tutorial guides, and also a lot of uh, the software applications, we 
We open up the capability to help the developers to build the different applications, and for the system integrators and the device uh, and also enterprises, they can also buy our uh, devices and to ready to deploy into their scenarios. And furthermore, we offer the ODM service with our fusion service uh, to provide uh, to, uh, with our manufacturing capability and also design capability. And, and also, we welcome all the innovators from the different vertical sectors to co-create with us. So uh, we are ready to bring your design and to the, uh, to the product uh, with our um, uh, hardware expertise and also uh, with our one-stop uh, to use our online store, uh, bring the product that you market with our online store and also global distribution channel. So this page also in introduce our ecosystem, how our ecosystem work is from the technology to the industry. So take the example of Yolo V8. We started the collaboration with Yolo V8 using a C Studio Racing's platform powered by NVIDIA Jetson. This collaboration provides embedded developers an efficient workflow for deploying computer vision models and build applications. But beyond the Jetson, so I see that we work closely uh, with the technology provider, including the hardware silicons to integrate their technology into our hardware modules and devices, uh, including the NVIDIA Raspberry Pi and the Texas Instrument and, and also many other silicon provider and and also we we from the modules we cut we built uh, these modules into our <laughs> devices categorized into the uh, sensors and networking and edge computing devices on the top end of the uh, application end we are actively working with the community like home assistant and and also autolytics yolo v8 to build the solutions empowering the industry's transformation on the technology end, we are focusing on the technology, including open hardware, AI, IoT, and also Web 3 dp So today, our project is around NVIDIA Jetson. So Seed is authorized a reseller of NVIDIA Jetson developer kits, like Jetson Nano and Jetson Orange Nano and AGX Orange DevKit. We are also their elite partner of the NVIDIA Jetson ecosystem as a OEM partner. So we design and manufacture this racing series powered by NVIDIA Jetson, offering the, uh, we offer the Edge AI devices in the various form factor. So these devices are designed for the power efficiency, high AI performance, and hybrid connectivity. And also, these devices also are, um, uh, features an uh, a excellent cooling design and, uh, and uh, for scalable production deployment. So based on our over uh, 15 years hardware expertise, we offer one-stop experience to simplify the AGI development, uh, including the ready to, this, uh, ready to develop these products and also ODM service on both hardware and also image flashing. And also Edge AI, Edge AI ecosystem is our uh, very important <laughs> sector to working with the partners to deliver solutions. Yeah. So, talk Elena, I, I think I think the slide I can see like really nice. Uh, can you go back to the previous one? Yes, of course. Yeah. So I can see some really nice enclosures there in this slide for the for the Jetson devices. So I think. Uh, so can you talk a little bit more about how uh, these are really like playing a part in the in the different industries like. Uh, like I can see like different 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 uh, enclosures, right? Like I can see the aluminum enclosures and I can see some different enclosures. So, so yes. how, yeah, yeah. Because like normally if you look at the NVIDIA Jetson, uh, normally what NVIDIA offers is the NVIDIA Jetson uh, 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 developer kits, right? So that is what of being offered for the developer community. But I think uh, for the industries, they mainly uh, want to have something which is really like, uh, ready to go for the uh, different like edge industrial like real deployment scenarios and i think uh, these kind of uh, devices can really help with that so can you talk a little bit more about that 
Yes. So for the developers, you can you directly use the dev kit or the carrier boards and for their POC design. But once you want to deploy the device, this uh, devices in into the field, you have to waste the enclosure. So first, um, uh, we uh, see this uh, this black box uh, in the front. Uh, this is with with the active fan. And but however, we also have uh, on the on the back, we have the fanless design. So fanless design will will also uh, offer you um, a uh, a device without noise and also uh, and and also stable around your complex uh, complex uh, workloads. Yeah. So the fan. Um, yeah. So and and also uh, why choose the uh, the the devices because they are one piece and also we have leave out all the necessary the hardware interfaces to let you to directly plug in with the HDMI, HDMI, uh, HDMI, USB, uh, and also the camera interfaces, including the USB, uh, CSI, and also uh, GMSL, uh, GS, uh, GMSL interfaces for cameras. Yeah, and also yeah. some uh, industrial industrial interfaces like uh, CAN uh, IS two three two four eight five to talk to legacy machines. Great, great. Because it's nice to see like how the Jetson is being evolved into the industrial scenarios. Because uh, like when Jetson Nano started, it was it started as a hobbyist uh, like device, right? Like people were just using Jetsons uh, as uh, to build like simple like small robots. And I think it's great to see like how. Uh, it is evolved uh, in the industry with these uh, like uh, industry ready uh, devices which see yes. dogs yes for a industry ready a a cooling design is very important whether uh, you choose a uh, a active a active fan or the fanless design uh, and also also for uh, for all of our devices uh, that is comp uh, that is comes with a production module, which is different with the developer kit of the Jason Nano or the Orange Nano. Because once you want to bring your product into the production grade, uh, and uh, as a commercial products, you need the production grade module. Great, great. Okay, yeah. So, so that's because we talk about bringing the product into the to uh, to the market uh, usually uh, so if you want to start with a schematic pcb design or, or um, starting from a analyze of the re um, a customer requirement and then you go to design your pcb and then you want to design a end products uh, with a software with a software application ready usually it will take a team uh, of the engineer resources from the 18 to 24 months but we are lucky to uh, working with the uh, a ecosystem a very powerful ecosystem and also uh, basically the jetpack it's the jetson software itself with the jetpack and also with their uh, other sdks like deepstream like asset ross and also Reva, it's already to can help developers to minimize the time of uh, developer applications. And so together with our leading AI ecosystem partners, we speed the time to market for customers. I see that we handle the integration, uh, manufacturing, fulfillment, and also the distributions. So our software ecosystem compromised by the leading company from the model training and uh, like Archalytics providing uh, the, the best in, in class computer vision model and also and also uh, with the design a computer vision applications or a voice application, robotic application, and now the generative AI applications. And also we partner with Balina, Jigsaw and Oxen to uh, do the ODA uh, updates and also the fleet management of your both software and also the uh, hardware devices. So furthermore, we're also working with AWS and ROPNY, this uh, solution provider to for a more comprehensive aggregated solutions. 
Yeah, so that is our uh, very powerful uh, ecosystem. So we, we also welcome people to join us. Uh, if you are working on a uh, enterprise software products can be used on the NVIDIA Jetson. And so we will come, uh, we are uh, very glad to come working with you to deliver the end solutions to the market. So uh, our work, so uh, actually from two years ago, um, or yeah, two years ago in uh, 2022, we started uh, working on the Yolo V5 and also Yolo V8. So uh, we have been simplified the Yolo V8 de deployment on the Jetson to make all the developers. So, so first, uh, you can uh, deploy with the TensorRT and the DeepStream. And further, uh, we are working on the how can uh, get developers uh, fast test Yolo V8 on NVIDIA JSON. So we provided this uh, one line, uh, one line code uh, to deploy the uh, Yolo V8 uh, to NVIDIA uh, to the JSON, including the JSON Nano and also latest the JSON Orin. So you don't need to worry about the dependencies and you don't need to uh, worry about uh, the environment. So this code is get everything ready and then you just uh, you just type the code and the terminal and then uh, you can check the how you love it it's running on the NVIDIA JSON devices. I think that, that is this is a, a very good resources for the developers to firstly you want to try your love it on any JSON devices. Yeah, I think I think that's that's great because, uh, like even uh, what you mentioned before, is that uh, CD is offering a lot of uh, hardware devices. But I think apart from uh, offering those devices, uh, from what I've seen, like uh, uh, CD also uh, offers a lot of documentation uh, for getting started with these hardware devices, and also uh, such as this document which uh, you just mentioned about. It is mainly about uh, streamlining the deployment of YOLO V8 on the NVIDIA Jetson devices. And I, I, I really believe that, uh, so uh, from what I can see in this slide, you can see uh, it says like the PyTorch and Torch Vision, because when you want to deploy, uh, uh, for example, YOLO V8 uh, to uh, Jetson devices, uh, the PyTorch and Torch Vision uh, uh, packages, which come uh, with PIP are not uh, ARM64 uh, compatible. So you need to install the PyTorch and Torch Vision uh, packages separately uh, for the Jetson to work. So I think uh, this uh, this uh, particular one line code will handle that from what I see here. So actually, uh, we also uh, have some, we also prepared an official uh, getting started guide uh, for the Jetson uh, at Ultralytics. And we do this in a different way. Uh, so, uh, so, so I can show uh, you that. Um, so I will share my screen. Uh, let yeah. me do that. Yeah. Yes. OK. So, so we prepared a guide for the, uh, uh, so if you go to docs.alleralytics.com, so this is our main uh, Ultralytics documentation page. And if you go to this one, uh, sorry, this com. Yeah. So we have prepared a lot of guides. And recently, we we uh, we prepared this uh, NVIDIA Jetson guide. And actually, this guide was prepared uh, using uh, the Seed uh, Studio Recomputer J4012, powered by the Jetson Orin NX 16 GB device. And I would like to thank Seed Studio for providing the device uh, to us so that we can prepare this guide. So uh, if we check this one, uh, we can see that uh, there are two ways of installing Ultralytics. One is uh, by by using the Ultralytics uh, pip package, uh, the uh, pip install Ultralytics. But if you go this route, you need to install uh, Torch and Torch Vision, as I mentioned before. Uh, so this particular Torch and Torch Vision is only for the latest Jetpack 5.1.3 because this guide was main, made for the Jetpack 5.1.3. So, but if you go to this uh, link, you can see that there are different versions of uh, PyTorch and Torch Vision offered by NVIDIA, and you need to manually go through these uh, versions and then install based on the Jetpack you're using. 
uh, but I think what uh, CID has offered is CID has streamlined this pyrogen and torch fusion process and uh, kind of included all these uh, uh, versions based on the Jetpack version which is installed because uh, I think uh, it first uh, uh, identifies what the Jetpack version is through that one line script. And then based on the Jetpack version, it will install this uh, necessary PyTorch, Torch Fission, and other dependencies. Yeah, so this is the way. But there's another way that we offer that is uh, using Docker. So uh, at Alteratix, we also provide, a Docker, uh, we, uh, provide Docker images. So if you go to Docker Hub, uh, so if you go to Docker Hub and if you search for uh, Alteralit, uh, Alteralitix, Yeah, so we push uh, Docker images uh, to support different devices such as like CPU-based devices, GPU-based devices, and also edge devices such as uh, Raspberry Pi and NVIDIA Jetson. So th this particular ARM64 uh, Docker image is for the Raspberry Pi, and this is the one for the Jetson. So, so if you uh, uh, go through this Docker image, and if you uh, uh, grab the Docker image, download the image, and uh, install uh, 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 I mean, get started with Alteratix using Docker, then that uh, Docker image will contain all the necessary, uh, this uh, PyTorch, Torch Vision versions and everything that is included to run uh, uh, Alteratix on the Jetson. Yeah. So actually this Docker image is based on, if you go to this one, so just a, a bit of a background knowledge. So what we do here is uh, we, uh, we base this Docker image on top of the, NVIDIA L40 PyTorch uh, Docker container. So this is the base uh, Docker image. And uh, based on this uh, base Docker image, uh, we build uh, our package uh, on top of this one. So there are different versions. And this is what we are using right now, uh, which includes all these packages, uh, which is uh, helpful to uh, deploy Alteralytics uh, in just in, in a very efficient and very fast way. So for sure. Uh, for sure. Uh, so I, I think uh, this is also another way of doing that. And uh, and seed uh, the way seed also does is a, very, a little bit of different approach. But yeah, it is also I think uh, uh, a nice approach there. Yeah. <clears throat> so That's and also uh, yeah, and also I would just want to mention that uh, when we use Jetson, uh, uh, so th these are some of the. Uh, best practices because uh, I think uh, I just want to highlight here because I'm still in the documentation, right? So uh, so for example, if you're using uh, different Jetson devices, I think uh, the first thing that we should do is we need to make sure that the uh, the max uh, main power mode is turned on the, on the Jetson because out of the box, the Jetson uh, max power mode will not be turned on and also turn on the Jetson clocks so that uh, all the CPU and the uh, GPU uh, clocks will be uh, set to maximum frequency, right? And also there's this small uh, application where it shows all the different uh, uh, CPU, GPU, memory, and all the statistics. So that when you run, uh, like for example, if you deploy a YOLO V8 application on like a device such as the Seed Studio uh, Jetson device, then when you uh, deploy that, then you can simply open this uh, application just to make sure how the device, how the model is really performing and how the model uh, utilizes the hardware and uh, how the hardware is, sorry, how the hardware is being utilized when the model is running. Yeah. So, yes. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's it's nice uh, to see everything uh, coming together for, for Jetson, all the documentation. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I can see your documentation is, is very detailed. Yeah. Yes, it, it's very, it, all the developers, all, all developers can take reference of that documentation. And also, uh, based on your <laughs> Docker image, it's very great to see uh, Yolo V8 have support a, a large range of embedded hardware, like Raspberry Pi and our uh, Shell ESP32 boards, uh, and I mean, the microcontrollers, and also the NVIDIA JSON. Yeah, that's, that's very great. Yeah, actually, like we are now focusing uh uh on the edge side of things and like we uh, we start with jetson and we also have raspberry pi and uh, so actually these days we are building something we are building the raspberry pi ci uh for the ultralytics uh, github pages so uh, so when uh, people push uh, the code to the ultralytics github repository 
it will first go to this Raspberry Pi C Pi CI, uh, which is deployed uh, locally, and it will uh, do all the checks for that, so that Raspberry Pi, uh, so that Yolo V8 uh, always uh, is running perfectly on this uh, edge devices. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And we are also happy to uh, uh, like see all the different other edge devices, which like uh, for example, see this. Uh, bringing to the market because we are always the software provider, right? And we are also happy to uh, see different different hardware vendors and how these different uh, 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 technologies, the hardware technologies are coming to the market so that uh, we can also push our uh, software to this uh, really exciting hardware. Um, Yes, absolutely. I can see that Oyolo V8 is covered from all lines of the products. I mean, I mean from the microcontrollers uh, and also from Raspberry Pi, other SBCs, and I mean uh, even uh, in, and also including the Beagle, uh, the Beagle board, uh, Beagle board SBC, uh, and also the high-end GPU like Nvidia Jetson. It's you you have covered all line and just uh, depends on the scenario requirement, and then developers can choose a different hardware. Absolutely. Okay, that's. <clears throat> So I'm gonna share my screen. Yes. So yeah. So that is about like how we simplify uh, the Yolo V8 deployment on the Nvidia Jetson. So in the next, uh, actually we got uh, many many questions on um, uh, how. Uh, how many models uh, can run on the NVIDIA uh, Jetson or uh, how many streams it can take for, especially for video analytics. And also today is our topic is, uh, is also about deploying a video analytics in the retail store. So we have built this, uh, uh, the multi-stream uh, model benchmark. So we have tested, including the, uh, if you deploy only one model on the Jetson Ori, it can support up to 25 streams. But however, if you want to deploy multiple model on the JSON or in devices, it can support up to 11 streams. But from our uh, experience, we tested this uh, Yolo V8 model that is disabled the UI and we turn on the max power and max performance model. Uh, but when you deliver uh, the real applications uh, for that uh, scenario, scenario, usually the application will take more uh, RAM, uh, take more RAM consumption. So from our experience, we will see for the Orange Nano 8 gig, uh, it can support uh, about four to eight, um, like six six streams. That is more fair. And for the RNX, it because it offers the sixteen gig RAM and also the more AI performance. Uh, it can up to one hundred tops. So it can support uh, up to like 20, uh, 20 streams uh, in about ten frame per. per per second. And uh, usually we have uh, many customers to use that to deploy over 10 streams using RNNX. Yeah, so uh, we have this uh, guide uh, this in this link. So uh, later we will also post that uh, under uh, this session and, and you can just check our wiki guide and choose uh, how many and, 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 and test like uh, how many models and also uh, how many streams to take as a reference. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so Elaine, yeah, th that's really nice to see. And uh, and can I know like how, what kind of implementation you have on uh, on this device, like to do this kind of uh, uh, multi-stream applications, like what, what kind of uh, like software you're using for that? Because I can see that you have mentioned DeepStream uh, Wiki guidance. So is that what you're using here? Yeah. Yes, we, we are using yeah. the DeepStream. So uh, let me yeah. uh, check. Uh, uh, let me share the screen uh, of the, this Wiki. Yeah, I, and I think like uh, coming back to what uh, we were talking before as uh, de deploying these industrial devices uh, in the field, like in the real world uh, edge scenarios, I think that is what that is where we need to have the uh, uh, multi-stream uh, applications, right? Because like as a, as a developer, as a hobbyist, I, I, I'm, I, I don't think like uh, they will really need this kind of uh, capabilities 
uh, on the hardware, so uh, on uh, like software capabilities, right? So this will really help the the industries uh, push the the multi-stream applications. Yes. Yes, because um, you sure. um, because in the real applications you won't uh, just deploy the one stream uh, for using the NVIDIA JSON because um, the JSON is um, it uh, has. Uh, much more the AI performance. If you are deploy only one model, just to use Xiao, it's just around I uh, like ten dollars, and then you can run the simple uh, and run the single model. And it's very popular uh, deploy in the field, like the facial recognition for the doorbell, uh, and also uh, even the uh, in the transportation and people counting, it can can use this single model and all the all the surveillance uh, cameras now. They have the AI processing on the camera, on the on the camera uh, processor. So actually, you don't need uh, the Jetson do that the single task. But Jetson, the the uh, why Jetson is because of the uh, up to one hundred times AI performance and very easy to develop for the software applications. Yeah. So uh, I think yeah, the yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I, actually, I have also a, a seen a different like uh, camera companies coming up with different uh, solutions where the camera has kind of like a NPU uh, like inside so that the device uh, the processing can be happen on the camera itself right so uh, so what you're saying is uh, the Jetson can be kind of like a extension where the performance can be much better than those uh, yeah. cameras right yes I will say that right. so for yeah. let's look into the video analytics like the the surveillance yeah. so there are uh, over two billion camera in the world it, it should be uh the all the legacy cameras and and without um that now uh we just uh, discussed the with the AI processing the cameras they are just a very legacy uh the uh, the PoE cameras IP cameras and so but using the Nvidia JSON you can just by uh, using one JSON orange to upgrade these 20 cameras with the Yolo V8 models, with the people counting, with the, the queue management and the heat map, we, 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 we just, uh, we, we're going to dive into later. Yeah. So I think right. that is the power of the, of the JSON and why using the JSON uh, for the video analytics solutions. Yeah. Yeah. So for this page, awesome. yeah. So we, we have in this wiki, and we have, uh, so we have uh, run a walkthrough like how to use the TensorRT and DeepStream SDK to build, uh, to deploy the any the Yolo V8, any Yolo V8 models. And, and also for the benchmark I mentioned, so here, uh, this is, uh, we tested model by model and the device by, by, by device. That is, we want to build this reference to, to the uh, industries to take a reference which device re they really should choose. So, so for example, let's say if I choose the uh, FT16 uh, model and using the uh, our Nano 8 and by the single model. And so it's, it's so usually like uh, for the 10, uh, it can uh, take up uh, like 10 cameras, the FPS is around nine. So nine uh, frame per second is already uh, not a uh, real time. So if you want to get in like um, the real time, it should be uh, uh, at least about 30, 30 frame per second. Yeah, so like for the RNX, that is uh, much better. Uh, that is uh, much better. So it it capable to take like more yearly the fp32 oh, i think this is a really nice tool yeah so yeah. like customers can really like check uh, what kind of model and what kind of device they want to select and based on that they can have they can see what, how many cameras uh, can be connected yeah to the device yes yeah, yeah. and also for the more like using our um Using our servo, uh, it come uh, our devices. You can directly connect to uh, using the PoE and to connect to the IP cameras, and then uh, Nvidia JSON, uh, JSON Orange supports multiple 4K uh, streams. Yeah. Yeah, great. yeah. Yeah. So welcome to test out. So if there, um, if yes, test out and also let us know your feedback. Okay.
So I'm going to share, continue share the screen. Present. So I think uh, everyone is uh, waiting for the retail application uh, uh, showcase. Yes, right, right. Yeah. yes, exactly. So, oh yeah, but before that, I want to talk more about the device selection. So, yeah. uh, the, uh, we talked, the, we uh, we mentioned. So, the Justin Orin it can uh, offer the up to one hundred tops. But if you're looking at the AGX Orin, it can offer like up to two hundred and seventy five tops. And so it, that is a uh, um, more uh, popular using for a complex task uh, <laughs> like the robotics. And because it had the multiple, the different sensors, so workloads is heavier. So for our in all the NVIDIA JSON uh, series, we provide from the JSON Nano. JSON Nano is only 0 .0 0 0.5 teflops, and two, the uh, very uh, high, uh, the much high performance uh, around the uh, 300 uh, tops. So when you choose the the uh, when you choose uh, when you think about the choose the devices another uh, so you need to consider about the ram and also the computing power uh, and also the the capabilities of the encode and decode um, especially for the video analytics so for uh, not only you can use our wiki to choose uh, to check how many Yolovid models and how many streams it can take to run the Yolovid models. We have this comparison table to help you to looking into the hardware form factors to choose the best device for your first POC. Yeah. yeah. So, Sounds nice. Yeah. Yeah. So for, yeah, we are going to talk about the retail, but, you know, I, I think the Yolo V8 is a uh, scenario agnostic and uh, our jet uh, and the Jetson is because of its high power of the AI performance, it also scenario agnostic. So we have this Edge AI success uh, stories. So we have uh, uh, a lot of partners and customers introduce how they use NVIDIA Jetson and also computer vision and robotics and even the LLM to empowering the uh, use case in the retail QSR restaurant and uh, security uh, advertisement, robotic, agriculture, etc. So for the uh, customer, uh, so for the developers who want to look into what is the real uh, scenario, real <laughs> use case in the in the real world. Also, welcome to check out this our scenario, uh, our success stories. Yeah. So, talking about the retail, uh, retail is a, a retail is a very is a big topic. So, uh, but we we see uh, the increasing demand uh, of deploying the uh, computer vision into the retail space. So, smart retail. It can be uh, so if if you only deploy the people counting and also adding the heat map. So the first thing is in the retail uh, convenience store or uh, in the large space like like uh, supermarket. The first thing, uh, the first benefit you get is you need you will know more about your customer. So what time uh, in a daytime? What time is the peak time? Get the most the customer. You will know that, and then. Adding and adding the heat map, you will know what air what areas are uh, getting a more crowd of the people, and then it can help you to manage your store to where to uh, what is the uh, the area to uh, pos uh, to uh, present your uh, promotion uh, products um, on the shelf or uh, next to the counting uh, uh, cashier counting cashier counter. And the next thing uh, uh, beyond the full traffic, so we can deploy the queue, queue management. That is the application we're going to dive into today with you, John, uh, with the Lamba line code. So the queue management uh, by adding, uh, uh, so uh, it, it also need, you also need the people detection. And also, uh, we, with the, we're using the Autolytics new solution feature. You can define the region area uh, at that that region box uh, into uh, into the sector of the of the uh, people uh, you want to detect. And also for uh, for some for the applications, 
uh, you can also add line crossing and then you can detect uh, people uh, in and people out. So for the quick queue management, actually, uh, it is very popular in the uh, C uh, convenience store and the supermarket to deploy this, you can enhance the customer satisfaction satisfaction because you can use this to analyze how long people is waiting uh, in the line and also how many lines is occupied and how many lines uh, is um, is idle and then uh, you can uh, and, and then you can uh, spend uh, you can get more time engaged with products and services and also uh, it is efficient resources allocation to optimize product uh, placement and also ensure you have uh, enough employee during the peak time to meet uh, customer needs without the without the store uh, without uh, overstuffing in the store period. Yeah, so that the query management is a little bit uh, complex than only deploy the people counting and heat map. But later we will figure out. Uh, it it sounds like uh, more complex, but uh, with our tutorial, it's very easy to, to achieve that. Right. Right. And besides people counting, you can also use Yolo V8 to deploy uh, using the object detection to do the intelligent shelf management and also check out the free. Uh, so uh, on the shelf, you can detect uh, how many uh, if there is a product out of stock uh, on the shelf, you can provide the insights of the forecast, and then you can provide the insights of the forecast, the demand, and the inventory uh, planning. And, and also for the checkout free, uh, using the Yolo V8, you just detect the objects, like any vegetables or the fruits, like Amazon Go, the, the checkout free that service. And then just uh, under the camera, uh, detect the object and put it on the weight. Usually the camera is just on the, in the, um, just uh, on the, uh, on, on, on the, the shelf? Yeah, on the shelf, or on the weight. Uh -huh. And then you can oh, just... Yeah. Put the device there, and then the weight will calculate will cal uh, will, will calculate the price. Yeah. So here we use object detection, classification, and the region counting. Yeah. So yeah. So next we will yeah, dive into yeah. analytics new features on the Jason Ori. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. The, so we are now bringing these uh, different features. What Elaine mentioned, like Elaine mentioned, like th there are different scenarios where you can uh deploy these applications like uh, the retail in uh, retail the object counting and line crossing so uh so i i, I will briefly uh, go over what uh ultralytics uh, okay let me share my screen yeah so we have prepared the uh, solution pages ultralytics solutions pages so if you go to the uh, docs.ultralytics.com and go to uh, guides and inside the guides you can under under real world projects, here you can see real world projects, there are different solutions. So this is actually our new efforts of uh, uh, pushing different uh, uh, solutions in a very easy way uh, for the end user. So for example, if you look at the queue management solution, what uh, CD is go just going to present in a few minutes, uh, actually that this queue management solution is like it's just like using the, this Python code. You can just uh, use this code. Uh, you can just define the region where you want the uh, like this particular box is uh, made using uh, these uh, coordinates. These are the coordinates for this box, and you can simply uh, run this uh, queue management application on your uh, different uh, video input streams. And not just queue management, we also bring different other solutions such as you can see we have distance calculation it can calculate the distance between uh, two people speed estimation uh like workout monitoring it can detect the different types of workouts that you're doing and there's uh, object counting and for sure and of course there's like line crossing so there are like very, very many different solutions that ultralytics offer here and we plan to bring uh, many more solutions in the future so that uh, the community will be able to easily uh, yeah, integrate uh, these solutions into their pipelines and then uh, build uh, applications uh, on top of uh, uh, on top of this. Uh, so, 
so it's really exciting to see uh, the hard, uh, like hardware companies like uh, seed uh, trying to utilize uh, these solutions on the edge hardware such as the jetson so uh, yeah it, it it will be great to see what uh, you guys have to uh, demo here and and i think that's what uh, uh, people have been waiting for today so yes. so we're yeah. very fresh try your new new solutions once you update and so we test it it's very easy to use so we'll have you john to present that and uh walk yes. through you how uh how how we build this demo sure <clears throat> okay all right okay hello everyone I'm Yu Zhang. I'm the HAI application engineer at Seed Studio. Yeah. It's my pleasure to be here with you to discover the potential of the JSON Orin and uh, Yolovate within retail market. For the live demo, I will show you how to use Ultralytics Yolovate to implement a queue management demo and deploy the demo on the computer. Now I want to share my screen. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> So now let's let's execute the Python script to see what happens first. Okay. All the inference part take place on JSON device. You can see the the, the output. So you're using which which model are you using in this uh, demo? Yeah. Yeah. As I just elevate uh, and and uh, I, I I convert the model to TensorT format, so it it may be um, more have have higher speed. Yeah. Okay. So you are using TensorT. It's very easy to build so a demo like this because both JSON and Yes. Yeah, uh, you can speak. Yeah. Okay. Both yeah. So Jason I think uh, here, like, uh, yeah, definitely. So mm -hmm. I think also there's something to note here that is, uh, Yoja mentioned that they are using TensorT. I think this is something very useful for Jetson because uh, when we deploy these kind of solutions to edge devices such as the Jetson, then uh, TensorT can really help to. Uh, push the device uh, uh, like uh, performance and then have a good output uh, with the TensorT engines. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it can. Because JSON have the GPU on the board, so it can accelerate right. the inference speed. Yeah. All and right. doing such a demo roughly requires three steps. Yeah. First is setting up the YOLO V8 running environment on JSON. And next is write the applica application code. And then the finally is co convert the model to the TensorRT format to accelerate inference speed. I, I want to show you the Python code. Here. Yes, I just uh, I just copy the code from the documentation of Ultralytics. Yeah. So, so what do you here. think about our solutions and pages? Modify as the, a... And modify some yeah. relevant uh, parameters, like uh, like. Okay, at the beginning. At the beginning, we need we need to impose some 
some dependencies like OpenCV and Autolytics. And here you can choose different YOLO model. You can use a bigger one like YOLO V8X. Uh, and, and then open a video. It, it can be a camera, an a, a IP camera or a, a USB camera. And then I, I just uh, create a new video field to um, save the output result. Uh, here, here, OK, Q, Queen region. It is very interesting because I have the import radio, but I don't know the the point of the Queen region. So I just uh, open the first frame of the video and and check the, the point in the OpenCV window. Mm, I want to show you how to do it. Right. Yeah, I think uh, the user the like um, and, uh, yeah, user will not again. know and not have an understanding about these numbers, right? They will not know how to actually get these numbers. So that's what you're going to show now, right? Yeah. Okay. You can see that the program is stopping in the first frame. Look, look here. Okay. Can you see my mouse? Yeah. You yeah, can, can see, see the, the, the X and the Y is changed. When I, when I move my mouse in the OpenCV window, you can see yeah. the, the X, Y is changed. So I just need yes. to record a point I need. And mm -hmm. okay, I just close this. And then modify the number here. Yeah. And next next line is to initialize the mm, the queen management mm, object. Next is a, a wheel loop. In the wheel loop, we reset the frame first and get the op detect the result and save the final result. You can see the the, the Python script is very short and simple, so it is very user friendly yeah yeah that's great that's great but, yeah, that, actually that's what we want to push also like we want to push this uh, user friendly solutions mm -hmm. uh, to the community that so that they can uh, uh, easily deploy these uh, solutions onto the devices yes yeah but the final output of the current application is edit the video which is intended to intended for human checking. It cannot provide direct information to machines or other applications. So I have customer, customized a new class that based on autolytics to um, direct output people flow information. Let's run the script and check it out. Okay. Um, So which uh, Orient device you're using right now uh, for this demo? Because I see that you're uh, running this demo live on the device. So which particular device that uh, you are using for this uh, demo? Yeah, I use, I use Orient X. Yeah. OK. OK. You see, you can see the number of the object Yeah, in the terminal. All right, yeah. And in fact, yes. Autolytics can do much more, much, much more than that. We can also use it to generate uh, density maps, like heat map, to help retail stores plan store space in a better way. So I'm going to show another demo. OK. And definitely, like I think uh, these solutions pages are kind of like the, the start for the developers, right? So uh, based on this, uh, the, based on this code, they can extend this uh, code to, uh, you know, uh, add different functions to uh, based on the solutions uh, that they want to deploy, right? Um, so these are just the uh, uh, the getting uh, the the baseline, right? The the, the foundation. Yeah. yeah. Yes, exactly. You can you can see the. You know, distribution density of the customer customers. Yeah. Yeah. 
Right. These are the heat it maps. Will, yes. It, it will output the heat map. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So you you kind of okay. uh, combine the okay, combine the, the object. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you kind of combine the two demos together, right? The heat maps mm -hmm. and the and the region detection, right? Yes. Cool. I combine them cool. together and uh, output yeah. in just cool. one window. Cool. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yes. Yeah. That's is all of the live demo yeah. for detention. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Oja, for the for the nice, the exciting demo that you just showed. Yeah, I'm sure the community will be excited to try these uh, solutions on the Jetson devices uh, that they also have uh, with them, and they can directly go to our solutions pages that uh, I just mentioned before, and then uh, easily deploy them. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So I think uh, there's a uh, couple of questions. I just I will grab uh, like okay, one or two. That's from great. Here. Thank you, Yujang, uh, and to yeah, walk, yeah, walk you. us through like how to build this demo. That's great. Yeah. So so yeah, yeah really I think I will thing. I will uh, maybe pick one question from our community because we we have uh, there are like some questions uh, coming up from the community. So I will just pick one so question I'm for now. Share my just, screen uh, to about the, our devices. And uh, to explain the devices that Yojang are using right now for bu okay. for building this demo. Okay, so um, the Yojang the devices we are using is the recomputer. This is most of the classic design, and it uh, comes with the our Nano and our NX. Actually, it's also offer a uh, Jetson Nano. Jetson Nano is. Um, uh, with the uh, 0 0.5 TF logs. So uh, this device is designed for both development and, and also the production use because, as we mentioned, it comes with a production grade module. The camera board is an open uh, schematic camera board with the four USB and also HDMI and uh, Gigabyte Ethernet and also M.2KE uh, for connectivity and also the KM and also can the GPIO for the development. So with our active fan and also the enclosure, you can directly uh, insert the interfaces and ready to deploy the into the field. And it, it's immediately to go to market with the pre-installed Jetpack. You don't need to flash your Jetpack and also with the certification and also the uh, long, long, uh, year uh, availability with a five, uh, five plus year of availability of the JSON array module. So next, I want to share with you our new updates about us, uh, about um, SSEED, our new products. So, so here is a reference of the local uh, combining the uh, L, uh, computer vision and the LLM. Uh, actually, it's combining the tiny ML and, and also the LLM. It's where pro, uh, we're um, presenting this solution reference as the advanced the edge AI. Uh, as we all know, the edge AI is talking about uh, running the uh, this uh, computer vision models uh, or the other algorithm, algorithms on the on microcontrollers or the SPC, I mean the Linux devices, and also GPU and also NPU, TPU devices. So while we're combining them together, we use, we use microcontrollers to process the algorithm and, and also collecting the real world data, like uh, it can do the vision AI. It can do the uh, uh, um, do the voice input, the voice AI, and also with our environmental sensors and in kind collecting the environmental uh, data. And so we use the tiny ML to process this data and to detect uh, at uh, the thing, uh, detect the thing at the very front end, and then we send the critical frame to the large language models like Lava or the Llama to understand uh, to understand the scene. And then we use the AWS, the application framework like the AWS and NoRed and Home uh, and Home Assistant to uh, build the automation. 
So yeah, it's uh, great that uh, the city why, is trying to uh, so integrate the uh, uh, way uh, we combine the tiny ML and the uh, local LM. That is uh, because the ultra efficient and low bandwidth. So if you only run the uh, large language model on the JSON and uh, let's say video analytics, you want to the every second and the real time to tell you what is going on of this um, out, uh, of, uh, in front of the camera. It, it is uh, very uh, uh, the computing power consuming and it's not economic. But uh, and also your device is always on heavy load. The GPU is full load. Uh, but however, if we combine the uh, vision, uh, let's say uh, the vision AI part of the tiny machine learning. Uh, so the using our microcontroller sensor uh, that is uh, to detect there is a people uh, in there's a person in front of the camera and then I send this critical um, frame to the uh, to the lava and then the Jetson can let you know what is going on of this person am I wear the glasses what uh, what um, what clothes am I wearing or am I an employee or am I um, not the employee of the company, it can uh, it can detect it to give you more meaning of the uh, the scene. It is uh, it is detect and only send the keyframe only send the keyframes. So it is significantly reduce the com computational strain on the edge devices and facilitate the low power operational operation. And also uh, our uh, microcontroller devices, it can it's ultra low power. Uh, it can power by the battery. So you can, it is very uh, easy installation uh, in the field. So right. that is how we combine the computer vision. Uh, let's take the example of the video analytics. So we're still using the uh, using the computer vision to detect if they the to, to detect the person, vehicle, or any uh, object. Uh, but uh, furthermore, we send this critical image to, uh, for example, like in the uh, in this uh, in the right picture, we send the picture of the traffic. Uh, to the JSON powered by the large language models, it can let you know uh, what is the what is the uh, situation of the uh, sector uh, 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 of the traffic sector. So we see the computer vision is for the detection, but the large language model is efficiently is for efficiently perception, and also with the application framework, it can do the automation. Right. So next, I want to, uh, I'm very excited to share with you our just released the Sanskrit Watcher. So the Sanskrit Watcher is also take the reference of the solution of uh, the Tanya Mail plus local, uh, the LOM I presented. So Sanskrit Watcher mm -hmm. is a physical AI agent for smart spaces. It can assist in monitoring a designed uh, space in any space detect any activity that matters to you and also notify your prompt and uh, notify you promptly. So it can identify and track targets of interest, interact with them, comprehend their behaviors and the status, and also and also spot noteworthy matters and send notice. That is the key frame uh, I mentioned in the reference design. So for instance, uh, you can configure some SenseCap Watcher to uh, to the function as the smart access control devices beyond the rec recognize your company's employees. It can also differentiate the delivery personnel like uh, DHL when DHL is coming to your office, and then you can uh, use this Watcher to grant them access to certain errors while providing guidance. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to share. Uh, I can share the screen uh, with our yeah. Uh, watcher. Yeah. More so I think uh, Elaine, uh, are we like kind of uh, at the end of the slides? Because I think we all. So you can uh, find uh, up our here. Yeah. our products at this website. One second. Yes, this is our uh, Sanscap watcher. So for you can experience here. Tell me if your person is here. Is wrong here. And then you can see, oh, it's detecting me. And then it can it can send this critical frame to 
the uh, invader JSON to see um, how, what what is this person looks like. So you can find more information at C Studio, uh, as it is this Studio solution uh, slash watcher, and to and also we are invited people to join us to the IFA test to tell to tell us more about how you want to leverage TinyML and also LLM to build their solutions. Great, great. I think the community will love all these uh, solutions that cities uh, Okay, offering. so yeah. so that's it. Great, great. And th thank you, Elaine. So, yeah, so I, I think this is a very comprehensive um, session. So in the next, uh, we invite, uh, we want to invite people to, uh, firstly, if you want to experience a uh, YOLO V8 on the JSON, we provide the one line code. And also, yeah. and also based on the uh, Ultralytics uh, solution feature, uh, you can build your own applications uh, across in the retail, security, and also uh, healthcare, uh, there's many different solutions you can build very easily. And also, um, and also welcome to share, uh, download our full tech catalog to uh, explore the NVIDIA Justin devices. And welcome to join us as an AGI partner, as an AGI partner, if you're a, a software provider uh, working on the uh, generative AI or the computer vision. So welcome to join us to deliver solutions to the industries. Great, great. Thank you. Thank you, Elaine, for all the uh, all the insightful information that you just shared with the, with the community. With the community. And I think the community will really love uh, what uh, Seed is offering here. Yes. So, uh, yeah, so I, I think we are almost now at the end of the session. Uh, so thank you, Elaine, uh, for everything. And and I think it's it brings a lot of value to the community. Uh, so actually, uh, I saw there are some comments uh, here coming up, uh, and I'm sorry, like we don't have much time to uh, discuss uh, the comments here. But uh, for sure, like please go onto your GitHub, uh, go up to our GitHub, Ultralytics GitHub repository if you want to ask further issues. Uh, so if you have like some issues with the Ultralytics code, you can push uh, the PRs to our repository, and also mm -hmm. like, uh, subscribe, uh, and uh, to our YouTube channel the Twitter, X, and LinkedIn to keep update to all the uh, stuff that is uh, coming up in the future, what we will bring to the community. And also join the Discord community uh, pages, uh, like Discord community for troubleshooting and discussion, for discussions if you have further questions. So uh, also finally, uh, so this is Ultralytics documentations as well. If you want to learn more about deploying these different solutions, to uh, different devices such as the seed devices that we uh, that seed the showed us today, and last but not least, uh, visit Seed Studio for all your computing edge needs and in order to run Ultralytics. And thank you very much uh, for Seed to joining this uh, Ultralytics live session, and hope everyone um, uh, gain valuable insights uh, from you guys. And thank you very much. Yes. So for the other uh, questions, I'm um, like. Uh, uh, Lakshanda, can we answer like one questions here? Yeah, I think I Please. think we are we are almost. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Can you do you want to select just one question because I think we are almost uh, out of time yeah. here. So, so do you want to select is, one question? Just one. Yeah. 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 Okay. There is one people asking about like uh, he uh, they are struggling with end aid calibration. Like, um, do you get the like? Do you have any solution for that? Yeah, I think for the internet calibration, uh, you need to follow the deep stream documentation uh, to do that. And I think currently the deep stream documentation that Alrelix offers is for the uh, Jetson uh, Orin devices, the latest ones. So if you want to use the Jetson Nano, we will uh, try to fix this uh, calibration uh, bugs in the documentation and we will surely get back uh, uh, to him uh, in the in the in the in the PR, like if you want to uh, submit a PR or an issue or in the Discord, you can ask all these questions and we will get back to them uh, quickly with, this, uh, uh, with these questions, yeah. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Thank you, Alexander. Yeah. Thank you it's very much. The session. Definitely, yeah. Thank you okay. and have a nice day, yeah. Thank you, bye.